Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. In the last episode, we brought Constantino here. His flowers, his plants that he all wanted. Now it is time to go outside the city again, to the eastern side that is, and collect the orc weapon for Harrod. Now, as I said in the previous episode, we're not actually going to kill an orc. Which is going to be, well, a little bit of a cheap solution to the problem, I would guess. But, if you really want to kill an orc, I'm going to show you where you find an orc. If you go up here, and... Oh, we have to kill that wolf, I guess, first. Come on here, Wolfie. There we go. One skin as well. If we go up here... And you see the the blood, or rather the blood trail that's gonna appear there. Inside this cave here is an orc. So if you really want to kill an orc, you can do that by just going inside that cave. I am not going to do that, however. Because killing an orc at this level is basically suicide. If you really want to do suicide, you can do it just there. No problem whatsoever. I won't be stopping you from anything. With Mika, you might stand a chance against him, but normally the orc is too mighty and will kill you with no problem on his on his part, whatever. So you should probably be very wary about what you do with that orc. And not being able to kill an orc, ah, oh, that's a dragon root I was searching for. Not being able to kill an orc, it's not such a bad thing. I mean, it's probably not the best solution to do it the way I'm doing it, but it's the most easiest solution that you can get in the beginning of the game without having to resort to, like, really uh, some very weird methods, like pulling two more city guards, for example, to kill him and stuff like that. Because the orc normally kills city guards with, like, one or two hits. But if they're good and they can get some hits in on him, then they might kill him pretty easily. But it's not always like that. Just remember that. Now, we want to heal ourselves up before we go into this cavern here. Gonna do that with some nice things that we can eat. There we go. Now, it is time to go inside that cave. Now you might think, well, this sounds easy enough. There's only a rat in there. You would be wrong to assume that, and I will show you why. There's the rat. Right, we are going to pick up these arrows up here on top side of this rude covered cave. And also some meat bucks here. And the rusty sword. And in here is the light orc axe. So basically Harrod's quest is already done now. However, if we go down this route, we're not only going to find some more mushrooms. Come on. Come on, mushroom. Get to me, mushroom. There we go. We're also... Oops. Come on. Sometimes this game locks up, just like the first game. I don't know why that is. You also find some crates here. And where there's crates, there normally are people nearby. And you would be right to assume that. But f 
first, we're gonna kill these meat bugs here. Nothing, Nothing there. there. And I Nothing don't want there. to no, go right there. Because I want to prepare myself with a save. Now, you don't have to kill these, but it's probably something that you might want to do very early on. You're in for it now. I'm going to pull back right away, so we'll only get one of them attacking me. Ooh, didn't want to go left there. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's stuck at the corner right now. Oh, they're both still there. All right. I've got one of them. And you shouldn't let yourself get hit like that too often, because that can result in quite some cruel damage from him. See? Well, I mean, just like one hit, there was a critical hit, and you're down. So yes, we probably have to get a better weapon before we can fight these guys. I tend to go with something like a Nothing sword there. of some sort. That uh, normally does the deal. So for the moment, we're going to leave this cave alone. And once we have the money to get a better weapon, we shouldn't have too much trouble with those two guys anymore. So, it's time to go back to Constantine, uh, not to Constantine, to Harad, and give him the Orc weapon. That will give us a little bit of an experience boost, and also we could possibly think about getting his apprenticeship as well. However, there is something you should note about joining apprenticeships here, or joining masters rather. If you join Constantino, he's the only one that can learn you the strength and dexterity potions. They kind of change that. Normally you don't have to join Constantina to get that, but with the add-on you have to. So we are going to talk to Constantina about apprenticeship in the end, but we want to complete all the tasks for the masters first. Wait a minute. This way you get most what of the experience out of it. I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I, I didn't can think, you could do think it. that is absolutely true. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? You're a good man. I'll give you Well, I cheated a little, so. We'll still be here for a while. And a strong lad to take his place will turn up in time. Alright, so he's okay with this. Very well. Now, is he fine if we join someone else? I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. Alright. So he's completely oblivious and thinks, like, well, if you want to do whatever you want, then just do it. So, happy about that. Now, next up, we want to get the blessing of Enos from one of his priests. There was one in red robes that was standing just there at the end to the eastern gate. Now, we want to get his approval, or rather his blessing. So, I'm gonna talk to Daron. What can I do for you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? Mm, not exactly. Do you want to direct a prayer to our Lord Enos, or donate some gold for his church? Well, I've come to get your blessing. That's good. 
That's good. Then you will probably want to donate gold to the Holy Church of Enos, won't you? Actually, I wanted your blessing so I could sign on as an apprentice in the lower part of town. But my son, without a modest donation to the church, it is impossible for me to bless you. How All right. Can I be certain of your good intentions toward the Holy Church of Enos? Well. So, how much does a donation usually run to here? Well, that depends on what percentage you want to give, son. Let me see how much you brought. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You have more than a hundred gold pieces. The Lord says give if you have. The church accepts your generous donation. So how much do Fifty, all right. For he is light and righteousness. All right, all right. Where do you come from? I come from the monastery of the magicians, which lies in the mountains. Everybody knows by now. A good we place for monastery, I would say. Who is pure of heart and feels the desire to serve our almighty Lord in us. Hmm. Really, how interesting. What are you doing in town? I have discussions with the paladins and support the citizens with my advice and with helpful words. Helpful words of it. You only want donations. That's the only reason you're here, it seems. To be there for the people and to help mm. the poor. Of course you are. Right on. You're a little bit of a weird man. Gold. <laughs> Doesn't faith count anymore among all this? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Well, I suppose that at least we got the blessing, so things should be alright. Let's talk to Thorben about that, so we can get his blessing as well. Hey, you! So... How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes, he has. Yes. And did you also get the blessing of a priest of Inos? Yes, I did. Then you shall have Well, I could just well. say that without no getting it, but you decide to take, take pride we're honest. Good job, my boy. So, can you teach me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Matteo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. Indeed. However, I cannot Yes, we already had this conversation. So, here are your 200, here are 200 gold, pieces. gold pieces. This money will really help me. We can start as soon as you're ready. Good. Teach me how to pick a lock. All you need is a lock pick. If you move it carefully left and right in the lock, you can unbolt the mechanism. But if you move it too much or too fast in the wrong direction, it will snap right off. The more adept you become, the fewer lock picks you are going to need. That's all there is to it, really. Alright. So, we've learned lockpicks and taking trophies. Now, you might think, is there a second level to this? And I would say, no, there's not. Because this time around, lockpick is coupled with dexterity. So, the more dexterity you have, the less lockpicks you will use, or rather, the less they will break. So, the more dexterity, the better it is. Now, we have only Bosper's proposition left to do. So, for now, we are going to talk to Bartog over here. And let him help us to collect some furs and skins. So, Mr. Bartok. Also, we're going to collect these beers here. You never know when you need a beer. Snatching it up. How's it going? Hey, Bartok. You're not from around here, are you? No. Nope. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. I can guess so. Bosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did. But he was only interested in his blasted hides. Well, I told him how dangerous. Didn't think that he would there. do that. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. 
Can you tell me anything else about him? <laughs> Vosper had one of his bows stolen recently in broad daylight. Some guy just waltzed into his store, took a bow, and left. Wow. The thieves are getting more <laughs> and more brazen. Indeed he was. Whoever that was. Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know whether there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. So? So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well, it's a curious story. Then Only go a few tell. days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's Tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. Where does one get swamp weed reefers? That would be the other question. Somewhere down at the harbor, as far as I know. All right. Didn't you go looking for him? No, but I reported <laughs> it to the militia. What a friend he they is. I haven't been able to find him yet. Obviously, otherwise he would have returned already. Or worse, I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> that was a bad joke. By the way, I could bear that as a hunter, really. That could actually be my joke. Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. All right. How about teach sneaking? Teach me how to sneak around. All right. So first, you have to make sure that you shift your weight properly. To achieve that, bend your knees. And always put your foot down heel first. Make sure that you always keep your weight on the foot you're standing on until you've got your other foot securely placed. Most creatures you can't sneak up on unless they're sleeping. The beasts just smell you. All so right. always pay close attention when you're out there. Sounds good enough. Why don't we go hunting together? Yes. Oh. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know we are, anything well, about we are one yet? of a hunter, you know that. I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Busper. That's All a right. fair deal, isn't it? I guess it is. Here they are. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably All right. more than we like. Right, so we're gonna convince Bartok to help us get some skins for Bosper. In the original game, without the add-on, this was actually very easy. Now, in the add-on, however, with all the changes they've made, this is going to be not a cakewalk at all. Because there's a different thing that we also encounter. There's going to be an orc. That's the third opportunity that you will have to get an orc weapon that you will sell, or rather give, to Harad. So we are going to go to the south gate, go out there, and then go off to the right hand side here. This doesn't seem dangerous at all, does Another it? Another one of those things. We're going to stay back for now and just let him do the things. Because we get the experience either way. Also we want to collect as much as we can from this forest. Nothing to be had there. So we're gonna do just that. And we're also going to approach slowly. Let him do all the kills here. Hopefully he doesn't die though. Because these wolves are pretty dang annoying. There we go, one of them. Oh look, he actually died, whoops. Okay, well, I probably should help him here. I didn't think he would die so easily though. He didn't hit with his bow though a lot, so that was rather bad for us at this point.
Because normally hits like every second shot, so he probably would have killed like two or three wolves before they reached him. And then he could have dispatched him very easily with his melee weapon. But unfortunately, this time around, he wasn't able to do that. So yeah, it was a pretty rough day for him. But he has at least three lives. Because that's what I'm going to give him to finish this quest up with him. Three times he can die, otherwise this will be a very long dragged thing to do. Now, would you mind shooting this thing? Well, All right. first hit. So much for you, filthy beast. And that's right. A little bit further, drawing again. Blood fly. Kill it. Thank you. He doesn't need a lot of hits to kill these things, but if he misses or he's just attacked randomly by these wolves, then things will go quite a bit out of hand. So, we're gonna try and attack one of these wolves once they get closer. Don't get too close. Just kill one. All right. So much for Oh, this is bad. All right, we killed two of them. Oh! All right. Holy so close to dying. Dude, drink up. Seriously. Oh my god, like one hit would have killed him there. And I almost hit him myself because I wanted to hit the wolves. Nothing to plunder. So I could get them Nothing off him. Ooh, so close. Well, at least we got five skins already. Paired together with the wolf that we already killed, we now have already six for Bosper. Now, we want to save now, because this was not even the hardest part yet, trust me. It wasn't. Because now, there's going to be more things to come. And none so of them that I like. Think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Yes, please. Let's go on. All right. Let's hope this works out. Right. This is going to be a second tough part, which will not consist of wolves. These blood flies are not the problem though. Blood flies are really easy to kill. But this one here, however... Uh, dude, you almost had him by the way. If only like one more hit with his bow and he would have been gone. That shadow beast is quite the enemy. Here he is to the right hand side. Right, we got him. Now this was the second hard part. Now the blood flowers are going to be very easy though. Uh, should be the digger meat here. He's going to take care of the blood flies while I'm collecting the stuff. Go on, Bardock. Just going to watch him kill all these things. Number one. Number two. And number three. Nothing to plunder. Now this is the orc though. Whoa! Okay, that was a critical hit. Nice. Nothing to plunder. Normally, he does not even do that with one hit. Nothing I can tell you, there. I've done this multiple times before in various playthroughs. One hit, very rare. <laughs> very, very rare. That's it, I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc, right outside the city. Holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. I will do that just now. So, that would bring us to the question of do we really want to be on Constantino's service, or do we want, for example, to go to Harad and smite, smith us some weapons? Well, I think that the strength and dexterity potions for a fighter, slash maybe even ranged fighter, depending on what you want to go for, are definitely worth it. So we are going to join Constantino 
in his alchemy troubles, and we'll see what we can do with that, and what we can do afterwards as well. We won't be able to smith some swords for quite a while, but that should not be a huge problem. Normally, at least. So, let's go to Bosper and give him his skins. Uh, About the wolf skins, I've got them here. Great! I knew you would be suitable for this job. Here's the pay I promised you. Thank you. And so what do you think? Isn't this better work than banging away at swords all day, or filling little bottles in a dusty chamber? It's actually not a dusty chamber. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, hmm? Eh? Oh, you know him Didn't well. Didn't have anything better to tell you? Oh, well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. Of I course they did. fire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard... Well... Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? I had hoped you would choose me. But if that's the way you want it... Does it that is. mean you'll vote for me? If none of the other masters objects, yes. But you would certainly have made a good hunter. All right. Show me your wares. Show me your wares again, good sir. Because I want to sell some things here. The orc weapons don't sell for a lot, but all the other weapons you can basically sell for quite something. Now, we don't need the fire arrow scrolls, so we're just going to sell them. Light and heal light wounds will stay with me for now. Also, we can sell the Hide of the Shadow Beast for 38, and the Wolf Skin now for 2, if we so want to. We can also sell him Constantino's list of herbs. And we don't need to sell that letter. Right. The rest we're gonna keep for now. Also, we want to cook the meat, so we're gonna over here to the stove. And we have to do it for every single meat again. Yes, I know, it's pretty a tedious thing to do. But we have a lot of meat, so we want to cook our meat and transform it into something that we can eat for quite some hit points, if we so want to later on. You should do this every, like, 20 or 30 meat, because otherwise you will stand here for, like, 10 minutes and do just that. I'm just pressing the W key and holding the left mouse button clicked, and that's all. And we hope that it's not like 50 or 60 meat, so we don't have to stand here all day. They added a comfort function in... Did they actually add something in Gothic Story? I can't remember. I definitely did in Risen, for example. So they added something in Risen that we can just, like, cook meat in masses, like select how much meat you want to cook and BAM we've done it. Because Risen was also done by the same company, Piranha Bytes, so they knew why their players were complaining all day long. With. Right, we're done though. Not too much. You listen to the wrong so, right now, everything that we want And yes, we should be good for now, I believe. I've heard a thing or two. Good. So let's get back to Constantino here. And, and talk to him. Can I become your apprentice now? As far as I'm concerned, yes. All that matters to Herod is that you will be able to defend the city if it is attacked by orcs. And it looks like you've got him convinced of that. Bosper has been quite reluctant to comment on your qualities. I suppose he would like to take you on as an apprentice himself, but he still agreed in the end. Thorben is a very religious man. He has given you his blessing. That is a good sign. 
As for Mateo, he's singing your praises high and low. This means you have the approval of all the masters. Indeed. Are you ready to begin your apprenticeship with me? Yes, master. Yes, master. Oh, all right then. I hope I'm not going to regret this decision. From this moment, you may consider yourself my apprentice. What are my tasks? I realize that I cannot expect a young man to spend all day indoors with me. From time to time, you shall bring me the plants I need. In return, hmm. I shall instruct you in the art of alchemy. Thank you. You can buy the bottles from me. Most of the ingredients, however, you will have to get for yourself. And all I right. expect you to behave properly as a citizen of this town. What plants am I supposed to bring? I shall buy everything you bring to me, and I'll pay the usual price. For mushrooms, however, I shall pay you a special price. So, instruct me in the art of alchemy. All right. Basics first. Each potion is made of plants. They possess Thank all you kinds of Thank you for powers. all this insight. They do nothing but put all their power into growth. And modifying this power is what the art of alchemy is all about. To prepare a potion at the alchemist's bench, you need a laboratory flask. You need to know the correct formulation and have the appropriate ingredients. All right. There are quite a few formulations I could teach you. So, which what can you tell me? And even potions which affect your strength permanently. You cannot learn everything at once. What recipes can you teach me? I know a few. Make your own choice. So, we can get the elixir of strength already. Which is quite odd, honestly, because I remember that being quite late. But alright. Man essence and essence of healing. Basically the first low potions that we can get. But not for sure. now. I want to take a look at his wares, because in here he has goblin berries, he also has a dragon root, and he has the king sorrel. But that's the stuff I sold to him, or rather gave him, last time. So that's your inventory stuff he has there. You probably want to buy it back at some point. Now if we talk to Harad, hey, you. we can't do anything with him anymore, so that's hey, out of you. the question, unfortunately. Harad normally is the one that you can learn um, increasing your strength from. But other than that, he teaches you about smithing and, of course, the appropriate way of getting new swords and stuff like that. So for now, we want to heal ourselves. So we're going to talk to Vatras here. He delighted. And I want some healing. Can you heal me? Adonis, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. Thank you. Right. And next time around, we are going to talk to Vatras about the Ring of Water and get some information from him about what this Ring of Water really, really is. So... I will see you all next time.